is dying. My clothes, good. But where's my focus? It's here, okay. Wait, but am I inside the sacred mountain? But only matriarchs are allowed inside. I, I don't see my bow here, or that damaged focus that when I took off that killer where are they I should keep looking Up some kind of signal. There, with the rest of my things. and proceed at once to the mission point. Avoid all contact with Nora's savages, but if you are seen, kill every witness. Target imaging attached. Do not fail. Target imaging? Who says I'm like other Nora?
Aloy, you are awake. You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. Is my mother here? Am I going to meet her? It's complicated. Please, just follow me. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. I'm... What? What are you talking about? Come. What is this place? The Great Chamber, where all mother slew the Metal Devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lansra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh! Hold for identiscan. The goddess speaks. Just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No. No. Aloy, all mother spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me. Because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? Shh. There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe is on the brink of extinction. 
What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. Uh, how was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other high matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Aloy, by the holy grace of the One Goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. So, I can go anywhere at all? No restrictions? Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight, or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the Seeker Blessing will protect you. Why are the ruins of the Metal World forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked. Like the children of Metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder All Mother, her wrath leveled their cities but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of All Mother. That cannot be so. It is. Then this is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. Have there been other seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a seeker? No, not a seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. What was done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you. 
with flowers on the grave. Thank you. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes. But it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive. And most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa. For all you've done. May all mother bless you and watch over you. Nora Faithful, we will soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. When we hear the matriarchs lift their voices, we will join ours to theirs. Corruption spreading across the land and now the valley seems off. Wonderful. Can't be too prepared. Saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have it. I need the gate opened. Then you'll have to talk to the new war chief, Rush, up on the wall. the rumors, but I didn't know for sure until I saw you just now. 
I'm glad to see you're okay. And you're even wearing the tunic I stitched for you. I'm honored. What sort of rumors did you hear? That you were wounded. Expected to die. And then, High Matriarch Tirsa insisted that you be allowed to heal inside All Mother. Huh. That caused a stir. Only matriarchs are allowed to enter the mountain. But... You deserve the honor. The survivors had told everyone how you fought to save them. I... Wasn't the only one to fight. No. They spoke of Bast and Vala, too. And Rost, the man who raised me. He... He fought to save me, and... He died for it. The survivors didn't speak of him. But I remember him. He was there that day when you saved me. I remember he stepped in front of you when my father started yelling. If by dying he saved your life, Aloy, I don't think he regretted it. I need the gate opened. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is out there? I need to pass through. <laughs> You'll have to talk to Resh then, up on the wall. He's the new war chief. I'm not sure he'll help you. What's the danger in the embrace? Are the killers still there? No. They're long gone. The war party went after them, but the killers slaughtered them. They have some evil power over the machines. They corrupt them, make them fight at their side. And these corrupted machines, they're loose in the embrace? Some have broken through. And from what I hear, it's even worse outside the embrace. Believe me, this is no time to go traveling. Why wouldn't Resh help me? Well, he says... mean things about you. That I'm a motherless curse, an outcast, that sort of thing? Yeah. I wish he hadn't been made war chief, but Sona disappeared after the ambush. They say she went after the killers all by herself. Who is Sona? Sona was the tribe's war chief, but she went missing after the war party was ambushed. You probably saw her at Mother's Heart. A tall, lean woman with dark skin and long white hair. Her daughter ran in the proving, but... she died. Was Vala her daughter? Yes. She was. I liked her. So did I. What are you doing here with a bow and spear, Teb? You're a stitcher, not a brave. Most of our braves are dead or wounded, Aloy. Someone has to defend Mother's Watch, so I thought I'd help out. I should be okay. Just as long as I don't try to run any brave trails, right? I should be on my way, Teb. May all Mother go with you. There are rumors of a demon loose in the embrace. A, a thing of dark metal that corrupts every machine it touches. Where did it come from? They say it broke through the gates of the embrace. Who is they? Varl and his followers. They tried to stop it, but the demon was too fast, too powerful. Varl's a fool to defend that gate. It is here at Mother's Watch that we will make our stand. So far, eight groups have arrived from Mother's Heart to join the Hymn of Atonement, and more are on the way. Good. All true Nora will lift their voices in song. Is she still here? I don't care. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcasts need? been my concern. I recognize you from the proving. You saw Boss shatter my trophy. And you did nothing. You would speak ill of the dead? Truly you have no shame. I nearly put an arrow through your eye. And you threaten me in front of witnesses? When the High Matriarchs hear of this, you'll be an outcast all over again. I've been anointed a Seeker, so open the gate. You? A Seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the Proving, but to nurse you back to health inside the Sacred Mountain? <sighs> no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. 
And where were you when those children were being slaughtered? Or the war party ambushed? Guarding your little gate here? I am the Nora War Chief, and this gate is Mother's Watch. I have been anointed a seeker by the High Matriarchs, so do as I say and open the gate, or we will settle this in blood. The sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that? What you doing to them? They're taking control. Brace yourselves! <laughs> what have you brought on us now, you motherless curse? Kill them, Braves! Kill them all! A curse! A demon! Oh, mother, give us! It won't be long. Gotta get in position. Here it comes. Attack! Watch the striders! It's driven them mad! like that take control of all those striders how does it possess other machines what's its secret how'd you do it show me 
You made them obey you. How? This. You did it with this. It's connecting to my focus. Then I could use this. It's worth a shot. Couple loops of wire. Looks like it'll hold. I just need to test it. Aloy! How did you do that? You killed that demon. Pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I've figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are... are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Resh says. <sighs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. Striders. I can test the override device on them. Should go in quiet. Didn't go through all of this to wind up trampled by a frightened herd. Nice and quiet. Okay, here it goes! Come on, come on! It worked! It's not hostile. There we go. That a boy. That's more like it. yourselves bring it closer closer varl i take it am i seeing things or were you riding that strider when you came through the gate uh i was it's hard to explain i imagine so Strange times we live in, we who've survived. I recognize you, of course. Aloy, the outcast who won the Proving. I'm glad to see you survived your wounds. High Matriarch Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian. The capital of the Karja Sundom? You seek exile? No, a traitor named Olin. The Matriarchs made me a seeker so I could go after him. Huh. And then you should head north to Mother's Crown. If you make it, talk to Morea. She'll point the way. If I make it? The trail is dangerous. Ever since the War Party Massacre, our lands go unpatrolled and our borders unguarded. We have no war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Ugh. Only because Sona went missing. I'd go after her myself, but she ordered me to hold this gate with my life. And so I have. You said the trail is dangerous. What sorts of dangers? <laughs> Almost too many to name. The killers are still out there, and somehow they've corrupted the machines, spreading madness. Yes, I've seen it myself. Bandits, too. Cutthroats who snuck across the border to prey on us. The word is, there's a camp in the metal ruins upriver. Sounds like I need to craft more arrows. You said I won the Proving. How did you know that? I spoke to survivors. He said you fought bravely, as did Bast. And my sister. Your sister was Bala? I'm... I'm very sorry. I, I liked her. I think we might have even become friends... if we'd had a chance. Thank you. She died saving others. There is no better death. You said the war party was massacred. How? When word came of the attack on the Proving, 
War Chief Sona assembled a war party to give chase. But in their haste to get vengeance, some braves broke rank and raced ahead, straight into a trap. A pack of crazed machines, seething with corruption, fell upon the braves and savaged them. War Chief Sona led a countercharge and destroyed the machines, but by then the killers were gone, and our losses were extreme. You said War Chief Sona is missing? Even when the war party was massacred, she wouldn't give up the chase. She called for volunteers and went after the killers. You didn't volunteer? Of course I did, but Sona denied me that. She ordered me to see the wounded back to the embrace, and to guard this gate, to guard the embrace with my life. That was days ago, and since then there's been no word from her. So there's no way to know if she's alive or dead? If anyone could survive out there, it would be her. Sona's prowess is legend, an unbending spear to measure ourselves against. Sounds like she sets a high standard. Oh, you have no idea. She's my mother. I should be on my way. Aloy, before you make the journey to Mother's Crown and beyond, is there any chance you could search for Sona? The tribe needs her leadership. I'd go after her myself if she hadn't commanded me to hold this gate at all costs. Where was she last seen? The War Party Massacre site. A wooded hollow across from Devil's Thirst, on this side of the river. You might be able to pick up her trail there. Now she went after the killers who attacked the Proving, who killed those we love, who tried to kill you, and- I- I get it, Varl. I'll see what I can do. Of machines, all controlled by the killers. Lenora managed to take down a corruptor. Maybe the war chief left something behind, some clue as to where she went. They sent a stampede of them down the slope. But not before the killers used it to send the other machines against them. Brave, let us speak. Easy, he's the dead and wounded all cleared away. Are there no more braves or healers here? Just me. You're hurt. What happened? I didn't. It's madness out there. War Chief Sona sent me back to report. I'm no good to her like this. Varl told me that the war chief tracked the killers. Did she find them? We followed their trail, but again and again they sent corrupted machines to attack us. My wounds started to slow me down, so the war chief sent me back to let others know she hasn't given up the fight. So, you were here when the war party was ambushed? I was. I thought after the proving there could be no darker day, but I was wrong. The war chief was delayed gathering the rear guard. Eager for revenge, the braves in the lead fell into the trap. Dozens lost in minutes. If Sona hadn't arrived and rallied us, no one would have survived. Varl sent me to look for Sona. Do you know where she is now? All I can tell you is where we parted. Near the metal tower southeast of the ruins of Devil's Thirst. Look to the rise behind it with a lone boulder. I'll head for the embrace and report what I know to Varl and the others. May all mother lend you strength. You'll need it, going alone. This 
Must be the rise Soma's runner told me about. The war chief stopped here. So where did she go next? They must have taken a moment to rest. Dressings for wounds. Arrow shards. Couldn't have been easy. Going on after the ambush. The runner wasn't the only one who got hurt. Braves were crafting ammunition here. That old bow has seen a lot of action. No one would have left it willingly. Soon has taken losses. Tracks. Boots and blood. Looks like Sona and her braves headed for that ridge. Dead sawtooth. Maybe Sona took it out. She could be close. You're lucky I happened by. One heartbeat more, and that sawtooth would have torn you apart. Half a heartbeat more, and I would have killed it myself. Uh, so you're War Chief Sona? Varl asked me to find you. Has he held the gate? He has, bravely. I saw him kill a corrupted machine himself. But he worries for you. Our tribe needs strength, not sentiment. I've tracked some of the killers who struck the Proving. I crave vengeance. Do you? You have no idea. Show me then. Lend me your strength. Follow. Hours ago, I sent braves into hiding in the trees below. On my signal, they'll attack. The enemy and their demonic machines outnumber us. But we will have fury on our side. We could have more than that. Explain. That's Blaze. What we used to burn, they used to blast. It's how they dug out this pit. So we put fire to it and then? Boom. Then let us begin. Whoa, wait. Let's not rush. Give me some time to make an approach. If I end up alerting them, open fire. All right. Let's see what you can do.
That'll help. This wasn't all the killers. I counted more at the War Party Massacre. If I have to chase their filthy shadows from here to Spears Reach, I will. You're hurt. Losing blood. My health is not your concern. No one doubts your determination, but you need rest. She's right, War Chief. Give your wounds time to close. Val! What are you doing here? I ordered you to hold that gate with your life. And so I did, until the runner you sent returned with news of his encounter with Aloy and your location. I left the gate well guarded. My place is here, with you, with our vengeance. Am I not owed that? Uh, maybe I should have a look around, see if I can figure out where the rest of the killers are. Do as you wish. Everyone else does. Mother...
commanders. Over the past month, accidental blaze explosions have killed a dozen men. Here in the Ring of Metal, I've taken the precaution of placing our entire stockpile in a covered shelter. Safe from stray sparks and lightning. And I've posted guards to control access. I urge you to take similar measures. Or suffer the consequences. Supply Master Thran, out. <sighs> the blaze stockpile inside their base. Sabotage that, and we win. I found something. The rest of the killers are camped inside... A ring of metal. Any idea what that means? Damn them. The ring of metal lies in the ruins of Devil's Grief. That ground is taboo. I will return to the Matriarchs. Beg them to make an exception. There's no time for that. Blood spilled calls for blood spilled. If the ground is cursed, then let our vengeance sanctify it. You blaspheme. Please, Warchief, break the taboo. Devil's Grief is a cursed place. But maybe Aloy's secret blessing can protect us. I'll send scouts ahead. Our force will assemble at the cliff above Red Echoes and launch our attack from there. Sounds like a plan. See you there. Aloy, thank you. You might take that back when you see what I'm getting us into. Devil's grief. Foreboding sight, huh? Don't you ever wonder what it used to look like? Back when the old ones lived here? You're not like other Nora. That's what they tell me. War Chief? Our scouts found enemy camps in the ruins, guarding the approach to the Ring of Metal. So did I. But there's still a camp or two to finish off. Let's start there. Make sure they stay quiet. Agreed. Wipe out the camps, and our enemies in the Ring of Metal won't see us coming. I'll take out the alarms. We'll send braves to each camp to lie in wait. Would you start? They'll help finish.
You're finished. Target now. For all, mother! Nora always come through! Enough. I'm still alive. That makes me one of the lucky ones. The camps have been dealt with. Now to the Ring of Metal. Its high walls protect the enemy. We'll have to scale the height. Under fire if we're detected. I have another idea. Their base has a weakness. Send me in alone, and I'll exploit it. If I'm successful, I'll blow a hole in those walls big enough for the entire war party to charge through. Sounds like a plan. So long as I get to come with you. A war chief should be grateful for two arrows so eager to spring from the bow. Yes, Varl. Go with Aloy as her spearmate, but be vigilant. Yes, war chief. I will. Go now. We wait on your signal. You do have a plan, right? You followed me this far, even into the ruins. I thought you trusted me. I do, but how would you know that this base has a weakness? Patience, Bob. Take my hand. Take the one on the right.
can stop tensing up. There. See that covered shelter? Do you see those corruptors? Focus, Varl. That shelter is full of blaze. A whole stockpile of it. If I set it off, the explosion will destroy those corruptors and collapse the wall, too. A breach for the Nora to charge through. Can't hit it from here, though. We'll need to get closer. I'll get closer. You head back, tell Sona the plan, and lead them to that side of the ring. I'll see it done. And when the wall collapses, I'll be first through the breach. <sighs> now all I have to do is make it all happen. If I can do this quietly, it'll be a lot easier. able to hit the blaze from here.
has come. Mother, look upon our victory. A debt of blood is paid. Remember this day, brave Nora. From your lips to the goddess's ears. Yes, remember it. Be ready to leave this place. Let your spears and arrows rest in the bodies of the fallen. They are tainted like these ruins. It's over. They won't be able to kill again. I need to find Olin and learn everything he knows. Who the killers were, how they saw me through his focus. You won't be coming back with us, will you? I don't think so. I'm glad you accomplished what you were looking for, Varl, but I haven't. Not yet. Look, I know you have to go. You're a seeker, after all. But if you ever pass this way again... Then what? It'd be good to see you, that's all. I expect we'll regroup at Mother's Crown. Maybe I'll see you there? Maybe you will. I'll see you then. You're a skilled warrior, Aloy. Rost trained you well. Did you know him? A long time ago. Well enough to know he was a good man. Then why was he cast out? What crime did he commit? I wish I could tell you. But it seems only the High Matriarchs know that story. So I've heard. Well, I should be on my way. Thank you, Aloy. May all Mother bless your journeys, wherever they take you. Still roam free. This must be Mother's Crown. So I should. So many wounded. It hurts now. The tribe's been hit hard. Here she is. They made her a seeker. Come here, girl. Let's have a look at you. My own damn fault. The girl with the mark of a seeker. The Sentinel saw you coming. You're Maria. Varl told me you'd know the way to Meridian. The Karja capital. West will take you to it, but their soldiers will stop you long before you get there. They can try. No, what I mean is there's a Karja fort that guards the pass between East and West. Word is the Karja have sealed the gate out of fear of the corrupted machines infesting our sacred land. So if I clear out the corrupted machines, they'll open the border? I suppose. But I can't spare any braves to help you. Who said I needed help? You'll clear the valley, all by yourself. I'm good with a bow. For your sake? Better than good, I hope. So I'll find this Karja fort to the west? And beyond that, Meridian? Yes, the Karja call the place Day Tower. It's not far from the Forsaken Village. What Forsaken Village? It had a name once, not that it matters now. I was born there. What happened to it? The war. The Karja destroyed in one of their red raids. I was 15 at the time. I got away, others weren't so lucky. The Nora withdrew to this place, Mother's Crown, relinquished our claim on the valley. Even now, with the war behind us, we've left the valley be. A kind of buffer between the Sundom and our sacred land. How far has the corruption spread? I've seen it myself in machines at the head of the valley, and there's been word of corrupted machines in the south, too. Whatever the corruption is, it doesn't just affect machines. 
It burns flesh and sickens the injured. Do the corrupted machines have any weaknesses? Fire seems to affect them more than ordinary machines. A small mercy. This is a curse only the Goddess can lift. Unless we find out what's behind it and put a stop to it. The Matriarchs have spoken, Aloy. All we can do is fight and pray to the Goddess. Mother's Crown guards the edge of the Sacred Land, right? So do you see a lot of foreigners here? Yes. Not here in the village itself, of course, but in the valley beyond. Since the war ended, foreigners have been allowed in the valley, and Nora can trade with them, if they choose. It's a kind of in-between place, neither foreign nor sacred land. If you're curious, visit Hunter's Gathering. It's little more than a heap of dingy shelters and tents, but foreigners use it as a way station. Sounds like a place where I could find out more about Meridian. So you're in charge of the defenses here? Mother's Crown defends itself. During the war, it survived 15 assaults, broke three invasions. We will endure. Trying to live up to glorious pasts has a way of getting people killed. You would know this, but I won the Proving the Year I ran. Like you, I started off behind, had to find a shortcut. I barely made it, crossed the finish line with a broken ankle. This isn't the Proving, Morea. This is real. You missed my point. Getting posted to Mother's Crown? It was the boon I requested. My prize for winning. Trying to live up to the glory of the Nora hasn't killed me yet. But if it has to, I'm willing. I should be going. All right. Be careful out there, Aloy. I hope you find whatever it is you're after. Are you Salai? Jan said your niece may have come through here. Nakoa. I I've got nothing to say about that. Please, I only want to help. I'm a seeker headed north. Jan wanted me to help find her. Anything you tell me stays between us. I... I gave her supplies for the journey. She was headed for Day Tower looking for Zaid. Nothing I could say would stop her. Is there anything you can tell me about Day Tower? It's a Karja fort, right at the border. Bastards used to gather Nora captives there, so they could ship them to Meridian for slaughter. I told Nakoa not to go. What's a lone Nora gonna do there? But she wouldn't listen. All she can think about is finding Zaid. What do you know of Zaid? He's a rabid animal, a murderer. The worst of the Red Raiders. Killed my brother while poor Nakoa watched from the shadows. Even as I begged her not to go, part of me wanted her too. I need him dead as much as she does. You can't imagine what it's like. He... He mutilated my brother, and yet he walks free among the Karja. I understand. Better than you think. I'll look for Nakoa when I reach Day Tower. I'm not sure you can reach it. I've heard they closed the gates because of this, this corruption among the machines. But Morea might know more. Just don't mention why you're asking. I won't. I promise. Those machines. You can see the corruption coming off them like smoke. Time to clear them out. I've done what I can to cleanse this valley of corruption. Time to see if the Karja Fort will let me pass over the mountains. Turn back, girl! These machines are dangerous!
shines upon us this day! <sighs> it wasn't the sun risking its ass down here. Will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her! Open the gates! And send word to Captain Balan! Where are you headed, girl? West! To Meridian! Open the gates! The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left overlooking the valley. Okay. Thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. Don't pass up these goods. Captain Blon, I have questions for you. First, about another Nora woman who might have come through here. And second, about the trail to Meridian. What can I expect on the way? Well, it was definitely another Nora. No way I'd forget that. She caused... An incident. As for what to expect on the trail, nothing good. More machines all the time, and our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads, they're safe enough. Though after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I could put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines that... There. All of them confirmed my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Walid, tell them what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Well, now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Can't you send more soldiers to find the missing men? What about Walid here? Most Nora still don't take well to the sight of Karja armor. Officially, it's a risk to send patrols so close to your sacred land. I'd prefer not to do that again. But heading that way won't be a problem for you. Please say yes. What was that, soldier? Nothing, sir. You said something happened with Nakoa. The Nora girl? Yes, something happened. Attempted murder. Prefect Zaid can tell you more about it. You can find him near the main tower, up the steps. <sighs> Wait. Zaid is here? He is. Look, I've heard what your people say about him. But he swears it's a case of mistaken identity. Now, if there's a shadow to him, I've never been able to prove it. And the forbearance he showed towards this Nicole woman was impressive. Oh, speak to him. Maybe he knows where she went. And try not to assault him, please. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King of Vod has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. The machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that bandits and new reports of this corruption. We're stretched thin to protect a few outposts like this one. That's for everywhere else. Well, travel at your own risk. Did an Osram named Olin come through here? Twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora. When they passed through on the way, then back. And they brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. Do you know where Olin is now? Not exactly. But he was on his way to Meridian, I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. What is this place exactly? Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Karja territory. A trading post, a way station. One with an ugly reputation among your people. During the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive, then gathered here for transport to Meridian. And sacrifice. But the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Vod to make sure old Karja at this outpost show respect to the Nora. 
Where do things stand between your tribe and the Nora now? Sun King Avad wants peace. So do the matriarchs, I'm told. But old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sundom. Especially now, after... Well... While your people recover from this terrible attack, I mean... What's Meridian like? It's a changed place. A living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Juran. Havad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery has been abolished. There's a new alliance with the Azaram. And the Sunring, where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the Fallen. So the Karja are allied with the Asuram? Hard to believe, but it's true. Mad Sun King Juran raided the Azaram for years. Avad managed to get them on his side. He had help, of course. Ursa and Eren played a part. Azaram siblings, bigger than life. They gathered an army to free Meridian. I marched with them. Scaled the North Cliff with my men and secured the Temple of the Sun. Sent Juran's kestrels and priests packing. Now Azaram are a common sight in the city. And a common sound, too. They sure bicker a lot. It sounds as though you approve of the new Sun King. He is the Chosen of the Sun. And what the Sundom needs after ten years of war. A calming light, not a scouring one. Sun King Juran would shed blood at any slight. For Sun King Avad, that's a last resort. Lucky for those who slight him. Some whisper in the shadows that he's weak. No. Peace is strength, as the sun shall show. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I would be grateful, but not as grateful as Walid. You hear that, Lunkhead? You might be off the hook. I'd like to get married, but to be honest, it feels like... Any word about our missing men? I'm still working on it. I need to go. Let me know if there's any news about... Fine goods for a fair price. Stopped my wages. Would you like to buy something today? You'll like what I have for sale, I promise. You're a Zaid. And you're a Nora. I can tell from your tone you've heard of me. Let me ease your mind. There seem to be wild stories about me among your tribe. But the Nora have me mistaken for someone else. I'm not sure where the fault lies, but the fog of war often breeds confusion. Unfortunately, some refuse to acknowledge the error. So it was with the last Nora who came through here. The last Nora who came through here? You mean Nikoa? Is that her name? Oh well. It was a very unfortunate situation. She attacked me in broad daylight. If one of my men hadn't spotted her, I might well have been injured. But we were able to subdue her without harm. What did you do with her? I let her go, of course. It was clear she thought I was responsible for unspeakable things. So, in a sense, her actions were justifiable. I explained that she was wrong, then sent her on her way. Sadly, I don't think she believed me. Where is Nikoa now? I don't know exactly. She left raving that she would find a way to bring me down. But I did hear a report from the garrison at Lonesome Rock that a young woman had been abducted by bandits. Might have been her. So you deny participating in the Red Raids? No, I didn't say that. I did have a role in those operations, albeit a very limited one. But all this nonsense about torture and murder, that wasn't me. They have me confused with some other commander. I don't doubt some of my comrades did bad things, but Sun King of Ad has worked hard to eliminate such brutality. You've really gone out of your way to help, Prefect Said. It's no trouble. The Sun King wishes to make amends with your people, and I am his humble servant. I'll go to Lonesome Rock and get to the bottom of this. I promise you that. You do that. And if our men are anything less than helpful, please let me know. Huh. Seems like an ordinary outpost. I'd better look around. 
I'm so bored. I'm bored with being bored. There are chains in the cart. I'm bored with you talking about being bored. I'm bored with you complaining about me being bored. I wasn't complaining about you being bored. I was complaining about your complaining. Well, now I'm complaining about your complaining. If you two don't shut up, I'm gonna complain to Zai, and then things will get ugly. Hold, Outlander! What are you doing here? Prefect Zaid told me that bandits abducted a girl near here. Do you know where they might have taken her? Zaid told you that, did he? Huh. No bandits around here, girl. But I think I can help you find your friend. The boss sent us a fresh one, boys. Wrap her up and tie her down. To me! Let's take her down! All right, let's see what Zayed's hiding out here. Not just chains, manacles. They were moving prisoners somewhere. to that compound. Maybe Nakoa's inside. That Nora girl we got in the hole is nice and lean. Don't get ideas. Zaid says hands off or he'll hurt her price at auction. Sounds like Nico is here. And I'm gonna have to cut through these guards to get to her. Boss told me to hide in my shack when the buyers come. It's because you stink embarrasses me, you bum. Maybe you swim in a creek once in a while. Company! You got anything better to do? I got a dead body over here. You're dead too if you don't. Lost him. Sold as slaves. 
And the Koa? Jan sent me. Look, we can talk more once we get everyone out of this pit. Jan sent you? I don't believe it. Well, I guess one of his prayers finally worked. I've got the key. I'll help the others. Let's go. Talk to Nokoa. She'll know what to do. I knew you were going to be trouble, girl. But you'll make it worth our while in the end. The end is now, Zaid. For you and your men! Got a live one! Ah! May this just be any! I will strike you even from memory! No more! Ah! Ah! Let this in. You gave him a quicker death than he deserved? My father was a hunter. He taught me every animal deserves a clean kill. How did Zaid come to run a ring of slavers? All the scum you just killed? They butchered for Zaid during the Red Raids. The new Sun King kicked them out of the army, but Zaid managed to lie his way out of trouble, then saw a new way to make a shard, putting his grunts to work here. How did Zaid capture you? I tried to get him at Day Tower, but he caught me, then let me go so he could have his men grab me later. And after? Said he was going to sell me into slavery like the other poor bastards that came through here week to week. But he took his time and kicked me around whenever he stopped by. Guess me trying to kill him hurt his pride. You've been through a lot. I'm fine. Are you sure? Zaid's dead. I was ready to go through anything to make that happen. And I did. What are you gonna do now? The others were in that cellar for months. The more run down they got, the harder it was for Zaid to sell them. They need food, rest, and hope. I'll take them to Meridian and tend to them. You're not even going to try to go back? What about Jan? The Matriarchs won't let me back. Even if they would, I wouldn't go. They can burn for all I care. As for Jan, I know a way to get word to him. I'll miss that runt. But at least he'll know I'm safe. Time for me to go. Look, I don't even know your story. It must be a good one if they gave you the mark of a seeker. If you ever feel like telling it, look me up in Meridian. I'll be there until the others get back up on their feet. Until then, thank you for helping me cut this rot from the world. I don't know. Maybe now I can put Zaid behind me and remember my father as I should. As soon as the others are ready, we'll head for Meridian. Thanks again for all your help.